Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install software from the Arch user repository. In this video I'll show you the manual method as well as how we can automate the whole process with the help of an AUR helper such as Paru. So what is the Arch user repository? It's basically a user repository for Arch Linux users made by the users. So what is repository? I mean, what are all of these things that we are talking about? So a repository is basically a database which contains software. So when we type in sudo pacman-sy to synchronize our database, we get three repositories in Arch Linux and its derivative distributions, core, extra and community. Now, if you have anything extra, that is a third party repository. But these three repositories or these three databases are the official Arch Linux databases. Now, whatever software is in here, which you can install with a sudo pacman-s or in the case of the ALG ISOs, just install. These software are decided by the Arch Linux team. Now, there's certain software which the Arch Linux teams doesn't deem fit for these three uh, official repositories. However, the team wants the user to use it. There's no uh, restrictions. So, hence we have the Arch user repository. Now this repository contains around 50 to 60,000 software. Uh, this is the largest uh, software repository in the whole of Linux community, all right? So installing software from the AUR is a little bit different than how we do it uh, for the software coming from the official databases. Uh, and it's a little bit not so straightforward. So that's uh, what we're going to discuss in this video. So first, let's go ahead and install Paru. This is what I'll be showing you in the manual method. And then we'll install a bigger software, let's say Pamac. Pamac is uh, the Manjaro software center. I was requested to do a video on this by a user of Arch Linux GUI. By the way, for those of you who are new to the channel and to the Arch Linux GUI project, uh, you can go ahead and watch this video, which I had made. I'll put the link in the description as well as feel free to visit the website, which is archlinuxgui.in. All right. So let's go ahead and install Paru or AUR helper. Uh, if you are on the ALG themed editions, you can always uh, go ahead and do this search local Paru and then you will get Paru. All right. In my case, it's not installed. So I will show you how to do this manually. So we'll get Paru, which is the main package. And I'm going to click on the git clone URL. This will copy it. All right. And then I'm going to, let's say, go into my downloads folder. Uh, and then I'm going to clone this. Before we do that, we want to make sure we have git and base devil installed. So let's go ahead and type in sudo pacman-s git and then base devil. Now, for those of you who are on the themed edition, you can ignore all of this and just type in install git base devil and hit enter and then hit enter again to accept the defaults and then press Y for yes. And this will install uh, both git and the base devil package, which are going to be required uh, by the make package utility. We'll talk more about that to build Paru in this case. So we can now git clone this repository in this uh, git repo and then we can uh, we have a folder actually known as paru which i'll show you with an ls and then we can go ahead and type in cd paru and over here we have a package build file let's go ahead and see it it's in the downloads folder paru package build open with gate or any other text editor of your choice this is it if you find any discrepancies here you should always go ahead and contact who let's see the maintainer this guy anyways let's go ahead and build this package so you can type in make package uh, before we do that let's go ahead and see what this is basically so uh, make package is the package build utility for arch and we have se uh, several options here so let's go ahead and take a look at let's say c is clean up so there will be some uh, work files that are going to be cleaned up and then we have uh, dash i for installing it if we don't put this flag here uh, you'll have to manually install with sudo pacman dash capital u which i have actually done this uh, twice on this channel uh, when i showed you how to install manually google chrome and zoom from the aur then i didn't use the i flag and i installed it with a pacman dash capital u so this automates that as well and then we have dash s which is sync dependencies and then somewhere over here we should have dash r which is remove dependencies so sync dependencies is basically to grab dependencies paru or the software you are trying to install will need to build the package and then you can remove them because you won't need it so let's quit this by pressing q 
and we'll we are going to type in make package dash and the flags are going to be s i r c sync dependencies install then remove your dependencies and clean up the folder press enter and then this is going to uh, uh, there's a dependency that paru needs and that's rust so we'll go ahead and uh, press one for yes actually the dependency is cargo and cargo is uh, available with the rust group so we'll just go ahead and press enter and then y for yes and this will install rust and with rust will come cargo which is used to which is required by the package build file now how do we need uh, how do we know uh, that what all is required that's by reading the package build always read this and as you can see here on uh, make depends it needs cargo on dependencies it needs git and pacman so if these three thing, things are not installed uh, you will have to install them all right so the dash s flag just does automates the process otherwise you can manually install these things like we did sudo pacman dash capital s anyways let's go ahead and see the progress so cargo has been uh, installed and now we are building paru so actually software which is uh, coming from the AUR isn't a uh, package because the package is pre-compiled binaries which can directly be run. So software that comes from the official repositories, those are pre-compiled binaries that you can directly execute. But uh, in this case uh, of packages coming from AUR, usually uh, there is compilation going on. As you can see, we are compiling uh, Paru right now locally on our machine. So that's why I call this software and not packages because packages are pre-compiled binaries all right we are not these these are not pre-compiled we are compiling it right now okay so we want to enter our password over here and then we want to uh, go ahead and remove rust and then we want to also go ahead and install Paru and that's it. So now what we can do is type in search. Yeah, I was right. Search local and you can uh, type in Paru. And as you can see, now we have Paru. Uh, actually, the alias is uh, for pacman dash q as Paru. And then this is the same thing, all right? For those of you who are not using the themed edition anyways so this is the manual method of how you would probably install uh, software from the AUR now let's go ahead and see how we can automate all of this process with the AUR helper we just installed that is Paru so let's go ahead and search for the software which we would now like to install and that is Pamac so I'm going to search for Pamac and we have a couple of options here so the Pamac classic is Manjaro's uh, uh, software center which is basically just going to uh, grab packages from the uh, core extra and community repositories and then we have Pamac AUR which is basically uh, also accepting uh, software from the AUR and then Pamac all as you can see in the description here has support for snap flat pack and everything else so we'll go with Pamac all uh, so we don't need this actually what we need we can close this and then we can just type in we can just go to our home folder we can also close uh, uh, this one so what we can do is type in paru and then uh, the commands uh, for paru just works let's let me just show you the man page so paru is an aur helper and most of what we do with pacman extended pacman operations work on paru all right so quit this and we want to install pamac all so i'm going to type in paru dash s pamac all So you can type in press Y uh, for reviewing and then we can quit the package build file and then by pressing Q by the way and then you can go ahead and press Y to proceed with installation. Now of course this is going to install dependencies first so press Y for yes. So now we have an option to uh, remove the uh, conflicting package which is uh, Arch Linux AppStream data. 
we want Arch Linux uh, AppStream Data Pamac. So we are going to remove this package over here. So you want to type in Y for yes. And then we want to go ahead and remove it. So try for y for yes. And guys, that's pretty much it. We have installed Pamac and we can launch it. Add remove software, that's what it's called. And that's it. Now you can search for anything. So these are the two ways by which we can install software from the Arch user repository. If you like this video, please do subscribe and don't forget to check out the Arch Linux GUI project by visiting the website. All links will be shared in the description. And thank you so much for watching. Till then, stay tuned for the next video.